Microsoft has been actively encouraging users to upgrade to Windows 11, particularly as support for Windows 10 is nearing the end. The push to Windows 11 is evident through various methods, including full-screen pop-ups on Windows 10, outlining the benefits of Windows 11, and introducing new features and capabilities within Windows 11 itself. You have the option to upgrade to Windows 11 or stay on Windows 10. You should consider your needs and hardware before deciding to upgrade to Windows 11. This video explores whether the Windows 11 upgrade is worth it. Upgrading to Windows 11 comes with many benefits, including long-term support, security improvements, better performance and efficiency, and more. The main reason to upgrade is the long-term support. Windows 11 will continue to be supported by Microsoft for many years, beyond the end of support for Windows 10 in October 2025. Since Windows 11 was first released in October 2021, it will most likely be supported until the beginning of 2032, as Microsoft usually supports each version of Windows for 10 years after the release date. With continued support from Microsoft including security updates, your computer will have a better line of defense against security threats, like viruses and malware. Over the years, more apps and features will move to target Windows 11 and may no longer be compatible with Windows 10. Windows 10 is also more secure than Windows 11 because it introduces new security features, such as Trusted Platform Module 2.0, which provides a secure environment for storing and processing sensitive data. Windows 11 has improved some of the built-in apps, including File Explorer, Snipping Tool, and Photos. In File Explorer, the right-click menu is shorter, more organized and user-friendly, with more common actions at the top. File Explorer also includes tabs, so you can manage multiple folders in a single window, like in web browsers. The Photos app in Windows 11 has been improved with enhanced features that the Windows 10 Photos app does not include, such as improved gallery view with options to group photos by folders, support for both light and dark modes, slideshow enhancements and iCloud integration. The Snipping tool has also been improved. The Snipping tool in Windows 11 is a modernized version of the tool found in Windows 10, combining the features of the classic snipping tool and the Snip and Sketch app. While both versions allow you to take screenshots and annotate them, the Windows 11 version supports dark mode and includes new features like text extraction, screen recording capabilities, text blurring, and more. Windows 11 also offers performance improvements compared to Windows 10, particularly on newer hardware. Compared to Windows 10, Windows 11 offers faster startup times, better memory management, and better battery life for laptops and tablets. That makes the operating system more responsive and less likely to slow down due to insufficient system resources. Microsoft offers a free upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11, so it does not cost money to upgrade. Although Windows 11 offers many benefits over Windows 10, upgrading is not always a good idea. If your computer is not compatible with Windows 11, that's the main reason why you shouldn't upgrade. Windows 11 has much higher system requirements than Windows 10. To qualify for the free upgrade, your computer needs to meet the system requirements. These requirements include Trusted Platform Module 2.0 support, Secure Boot enabled, and a supported processor. Most computers that were purchased before 2018 or came pre-installed with Windows 7 or Windows 8.1 won't meet these requirements. If you're using a PC with older hardware that doesn't meet the Windows 11 system requirements, it's best to stay on Windows 10. There are tools and methods available that can help you bypass the hardware checks during the Windows 11 installation process, but that doesn't guarantee a smooth upgrade. While Windows 11 might technically run on older hardware and receive security updates, you won't be automatically offered new feature releases for Windows 11, and you will need to manually download and install the latest feature releases. By installing Windows 11 on unsupported hardware, you are taking on the responsibility for any issues that may arise, including slow performance and compatibility issues. Updates are not guaranteed to be free of any unexpected issues. Windows 11 also makes some small changes to the user interface, like the Start menu and the Taskbar. The redesigned Taskbar has smaller icons and notification badges. The Start menu is now located in the middle of the Taskbar, instead of the bottom left corner, removes live tiles, and introduces a grid-based layout with pinned and recommended apps. Some users dislike these changes due to the lack of customizability, but you can move the Start menu back to the bottom left corner in the Settings app. Due to the redesigned apps and changes to user interface elements, Windows 11 presents a learning curve for users upgrading from Windows 10. If your computer meets the requirements and you want the latest features, upgrading to Windows 11 is worth it. Upgrading offers benefits like improved apps, long-term support, improved security, new features, and enhanced performance. 
If you're using older hardware which is not officially supported for Windows 11, it's best not to force the Windows 11 upgrade and you may need a new PC for Windows 11. Windows 10 will continue to work beyond its end of support. While there will no longer be free security updates, feature updates, or technical assistance from Microsoft, you can continue to use it safely by taking responsibility for your security, like not installing software from untrusted sources and not clicking on suspicious links. Whether it will be safe for you to use Windows 10 after support ends depends on the use case, and the biggest risk is opening suspicious downloaded files. We urge you not to believe any articles or videos that say you will be immediately exposed to security risks without doing anything. Another concern is that some third-party apps like Google Chrome and Firefox may eventually end their support for Windows 10. This won't happen immediately, but it depends on the app provider and when they decide to stop supporting Windows 10. The same thing happened with Windows 7 in 2020 and Windows XP in 2014. Users who stayed on those operating systems after Microsoft ended support for them were probably more affected by the declining third-party app support rather than the lack of updates. If this video was useful for you, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe. If you want to receive notifications whenever new content is posted, you can click on the bell icon after subscribing.